Very, very fitting. Absolutely. Right now. The the low Gregorian chanting <laughs> in, in the action in the background now transitioning over to something a little bit more lighthearted as we get into battlefield for the actual set. Cable is just gonna be and Tropical is just gonna be trying to do much the same thing as he did against Ling and just find a way to just control the movement angles at which off approaches, right? You can't control getting outspeeded, but how can you punish them for utilizing that speed suboptimally? Yeah, that being said though, I mean, Greninja, uh, you know, definitely has uh, some better like air mobility than Peach, at least in terms of finding his way in, and something that we're also going to have to, you know, something that Tropical is going to have to worry about later in the match is Greninja's counter. Absolutely going to be fantastic in uh, MGW, making sure that Tropical is not able to enact that same gradual space taking game plan already and, and, and there's a substitution exactly what you were talking about right gonna come in and some suboptimal di from tropical gonna close it out now the damage is starting to rack up and and exactly what you're talking about before as well right the speed yep. from greninja here is gonna be is just not it's not as much your combo game is better than peach but it's your ability to apply continuous pressure it's that smothering nature um mm -hmm. very similar to fox actually that kind of greninja can apply that Cable sometimes struggles with because you can't rely on that belly armor too much, but those cracks are going to break. Yeah, we are, we already see big damage coming out thanks to that Greninja up smash. Already the cracks are forming, and Tropical is not going to be able to rely on that too long. Great spacing there around the neutral air, or the up air from MGW. Yep. And I, Tropical spacing on these forward airs, airs throughout his whole run tonight has been really excellent. He's willing to use them not just to try and find a chase and find some additional damage, but also just as a tool to wall you out. I like already, right, the the adjustment coming out on, on the counter, this time ready with the shield. You're seeing him start to play more defensive. And one of the storylines with that counter to watch is that location of the substitution, right? Because while it's out, it still has a hurt box. It still extends hit left. Absolutely. But we're already seeing, you know, adaptation for adaptation. We saw MGW, after getting the counter, did not, or recognizing that Tropical was shielding, did not fully commit to the counter and instead just uh, bounced into the stage. And K will throw in the stand and crucifix off the top, off rope there to, uh, to find the stock. It's just that's gotta hurt and just the pressure to boot suddenly tropicals played himself back into Ooh. this game that was a zero to death absolutely and this is something that i wanted to mention before is just kind of the the he way that for it all what the oh that's gonna be it yep that was a checkmate situation you know as, as soon as uh as soon as as soon as, as, soon as uh Tropical was stuck with that slow hitbox hitbox recovery. That's a free counter for MGW. For for sure. And it's just I respect Tropical really just trying to but he still got the weekend yeah. there. He's like It's time. Down air? It's time. Down air, back air, back air. Let's swing for the fences three times. But once that down air missed, the first back air I get. The second back air is like, what what are you he's above <laughs> you? Where are you swinging? And it was just like, you could tell that he wanted it, and once he didn't get it, I mean, as you said, checkmate situation, but also like he put all of that mental energy in that game left into that one interaction and then came up short. Now on Hollow Bastion, trying to get game two, and the counter coming out on his own at 40%. That's, I mean, that's a Greninja forward air. That's a, that's a kill move right there, and that's going to be doing big damage. And now I think we're going to be starting to see that... Uh, that sort of space taking game plan of Tropical, once he's able to, you know, make that center space his home, as we're already seeing, MGW is going to be having a bit of a hard time getting in. Not going to have any battlefield platforms to, to work with. And the up tilt is going to close it on out to boot for, for the tech chase pressure at this mid range from Tropical has been excellent. Watch how he's always positioning. I think his follow-up hits to be at the perfect spacing to catch Crown regardless, but also to combo off the reverse hit. Absolutely. 
All right, down tilt, up smash, easy confirm for MGW, bring things back into even stocks. And now MGW, we're seeing him just utilize that movement to try and get around this invincible K rule, but the armor coming through once again, almost taking MGW's second stock. Yeah, his, his mixture and uh, two of the armor and jab to just create a more active hitbox just put so many characters in checkmate situations, especially if he's gonna set himself up under this platform, get a little bit of a ceiling. The jab block, though, not gonna do it. Cable's a big boy, and unfortunately, he's just forced to kind of reset the situation to ledge, give the king himself another chance back. Act up smash not gonna do it either, but of course he's getting close. Yep, fantastic spot dodge there from MGW to continue the situation, but finally getting caught by that forward air. Now you've gotta deal with K rule ledge trapping. MGW just kinda makes it back for free. Oh, the grab into the up tilt. Yep, that so that up tilt covers the fast match. What you wanna do there is not match on stages like this, there's an off a mix-up where you can up air auto cancel on platform to cover the fast match and then up tilt on the up tilt the slow match from plat, but most cables still don't go for it because it's very technically precise. Right. I, I do also want to point out how good that grab was from Tropical. We're Absolutely. already seeing the you know the story of the, the counter and the counter play continue. Once again. But the counter Substitution coming in exact same scenario that we saw in game one. You, you, you said story of the counter, but I'm pretty sure the song that's actually playing in Tropical's head right now is story of my life. Greninja <laughs> <laughs> counter. <laughs> like, it's just, it's just, it's just, there's no counter play there anymore. No. I mean, the counter it, play is, is shake my hand. Yeah, GG's, go next. But I do absolutely agree with Tropical running it back to Hollow Bastion because that game two, it felt like Tropical's game to win. It's just one extremely fatal mistake gave MGW the checkmate situation that he needed. And now, now it's just we're seeing a much more aggressive flavor of this cable come out, right? A lot of, of attempts to control the pace the game from Tropical so far, a lot of just mid-range zoning has now turned into kind of full-on aggressive position, right? I don't think we've seen him hold the forward direction on his, his left stick this much the entire set. Absolutely. But that being said, though, it's kind of working out in MGW's favor. You know, while Tropical is not relying on all of these projectiles, MGW is just having a field day with all of these counter hits and whiff punishes. Dash attack gonna put you in the corner, though this is where Cable really can make that bread and butter, but running up the wall, just such a smart, classic piece, piece of defensive counterplay by two characters with active spike hitboxes like K Rule. Well, that's the downside of that center plot. You were mentioning it can earlier on, right, that it can mess up when you just combos, but it can also give you opportunities for those up smash tech chases. Absolutely. All right, MGW kind of resetting back to neutral, looking to just poke things out with those water shurikens. Substitution from the other angle, Tropical not quite ready for it as he was previously. Very sneaky maneuver from MGW as he brings Tropical to potentially his winner side stock. And this one, unfortunately, just not looking too pretty for Tropical. Well, well as he he's kind of pivoted to this more aggressive style, he's trying to fight the frog at its own game rather than right, try and contest a relative weakness, which is forcing that character into situations where he'd want a shield and take advantage of the character's poor out of shield game, take advantage of the character's kind of poor tools other than movement outside of creative zoning. And he's able to find a stock, but he needs to find a way to take another pair of them fast. And Forrest, I just don't know if it's in the cards with how well L Prof is playing right now. Absolutely. And I mean, at this point, oh no. Okay. Hey, he did Does it. We, he, he avoided He found one. the counterplay. <laughs> All right, MGW looking oh, no, to, to find things. Great tech from Tropical, keeping himself alive, trying to, just coming up mashing, trying to fight his way out of the corner. He missed no the tech. tech, but the Hydro Pump putting Tropical in a terrible situation, not able to cancel out of that up B early in this game, unfortunately. Um. He avoids it once and Prof goes away from it entirely. That's a really interesting decision just considering how spacing dependent that counterplay is. Have to wonder if he's holding that the counter again for later when he needs that substitution the most. But he's giving Tropical so many opportunities to get back to stage. It didn't matter in the end, but mm -hmm. it was a very interesting gameplay decision, almost certainly brought on by the pressure of the moment. Yep.
and that is going to be MGW with a pretty dominant 3-0 performance over Tropical, and he's going to be moving on to fight John Numbers in winner's finals. And just this was is just such a smart piece of basic conditioning. Thing. You The character's at ledge, you empty hop to force or a neutral get up, or when they're falling low, by like jump to try and get past them, you then catch the back air to force the jump out. K rule has no option. You say, okay, you're either gonna, you're gonna push a panic option, likely not even necessarily expecting the fair, which is perhaps the less traditional one, maybe a neutral error because the armor, but you're still able to catch the end lag with the down tilt. It was just beautiful, like awareness of the matchup by Prof, which he really displayed all throughout the set, not just with that counter, but from even where he's pushing his options, just forcing K rule to commit and find these punish windows was to break down that wall of armor. Yeah, and you know, breaking down um, breaking down Tropical's mm -hmm. game plan as well. We we started to For see sure. that uh, set play game plan that we were seeing before against Link.